All right, so this is the idea on a zero of a function. So here's the note. Let f be a function, then a number c for which f of c is equal to zero. In other words, if you take any number evaluated into your function f and the function value comes out to be zero, then that number that you evaluated your function with c, that's called a zero of the function. So if you have something like, say, f of x, equals x plus 7, then negative 7 is a 0 of the function. Everybody see that? And that's because f of negative 7 equals negative 7 plus 7, which equals 0. Okay? All right, I'll do one more. What if g of x was equal to x squared minus 9. All right, so 3 and a negative 3 are zeros of g. Everybody see that? Because g of 3 equals 0 and g of negative 3 also equals 0. So both 3 and negative 3 are called zeros of the function g. That's the entire idea of a zero of a function. Any number, any number, not just necessarily real numbers, but any number that you evaluate your function with and it makes the function value go to 0, well then that original number that you substituted in for x, that's called a zero of the function. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.